Okay, good day guys, good day guys. Blessings to everybody. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. In this particular video, we're talking about the performances of Christo J. Daly, his debut performance for FC Kappa over there in Slovenia and Europe. And also we're talking about Kaim Paris as well. As usual, I will be putting a link to the actual game in the description all you need to do just click on the title of the video and go down into the description of the video and you will see the link to the actual video footage of this particular game that i am referring to which would have involved both Krista j daily and kahim paris seen for starters it is free you don't have to pay to access it second of all guys this is not a scam I realize that some of you are kind of afraid of the link, you know, and a little skeptical of the, the links. You know. This is not a scam, guys, right? Nothing will happen. The link is perfectly safe. Nothing bad will happen. It's unfortunate that we, we're living in a time where we have to be mindful of, of clicking on links, you know. I'm just trying to help you guys in seeing some of these performances that many of you might miss. Just trying to help you guys out and, you know, people weary that it might be a scam you know it's not a scam guys right also the link will not work if you don't have telegram on your device so you have to download the telegram app to be able to access the video footage see it might ask you for your phone number if you're not if you don't already download and signed up to the app it might ask you for your phone number if you're new to telegram but guys, this won't be made public to anybody, right? Nobody will be able to see your phone number. And also, the app does not take up a lot of space, the Telegram app. So again, just click on the link and you guys can see the full 63-minute video. Because Krista J. Daly would have played about 45 minutes. And Kahim Paris stayed on a little bit longer in the same game and played up to the 63rd minute so the video that you guys will be able to access in the description is the full 63 minute performance involving both players so you know this video by the way is a little bit late it was supposed to be dropping earlier in the week but you know again technical difficulties you know wrapping our heads around you know some things but we're getting it out nonetheless because i think it is a very very important game this game that would have taken place involving fc copper and nk bravo in slovenia it's important because it is the debut performance of young reggae boy young jamaican player christo j daly this was his very first performance in europe you know christo j daly currently plays for fc copper which finished second in the Slovenian first division last season. Many of us remember about Kahim Paris being at Kappa, but many of us forget that Krista J. Daly, young 19-year-old Krista J. Daly, is also there at that same club as well. Now, in my humble opinion, he had a good showing of himself, you know, showed good technical ability, certainly good enough technical ability to be able to cut it at the slovenian first division level right it is you know for the he played 45 minutes he played 45 minutes of this particular encounter was taken off at half time a little bit surprising that he came off he was doing okay in my humble opinion right for the first 10 minutes of the game he didn't really have any touch on the ball it took him a while to really get himself involved in this particular game but eventually, as the, the first half progressed, started getting involved in the game, started asserting himself more in this particular game, started getting more up to speed. You know, did a lot of pressing also in this particular game. Can't fault the young man's work ethic, you know. Had a very important steal as well, where he pressed, successfully tackled one possession of the ball, played a teammate in behind, you know, the shot was saved by the goalkeeper so he could have had an assist on that particular play as a result of his hard 
work. Seen? Eventually, when he got himself involved in the game, he had some really good touches. Some really good touches on the ball, you know. Got the beating of a couple of players in 1v1, even 1v2 scenarios where there's one particular play. He, you know, would have dribbled past two players right through the middle of the pitch, broke the midfield line. Eventually, the play eventually resulted in, in him getting a shot off. But the shot was a bit wayward. But he did show some good technical ability in beating those respective players. He almost had an assist for Kahim Paris. You know, a one-time ball over the top for Kahim Paris. Kahim Paris, the finish was not the best. And also, you know, it was a decent, strong right hand by the goalkeeper as well to deny Paris the goal and Christo J. Daly the assist. He almost had a goal himself as well. The very last play of this game for him where Paris made a, a run to the byline on the left-hand side. You know, he cut it back to Christo J. Daly making a run on the edge of the box. Christo J. Daly one-time shot. Went, you know, went barely over the bar. Never missed by much. I don't think Christo J really realized how much time he had. He could have even taken a touch and then gotten the shot off. And by the way, guys, he played as an attacking midfielder in this game, Christo J Daly. The one criticism I'll have of Daly's performance is that I think that as an attacking midfielder, his movement was not the best in terms of getting on the end of potential passing channels. To be able to facilitate breaking of the lines, I think his movement could be a bit better where that is concerned. But overall, Krista J. Daly would have made the move from Harbour View to Copper. If I'm not mistaken, it's a one-year deal. And I was a little bit surprised that he, you know, got taken off at halftime. I think he really started to make a, a very good impact in the game, man. Took him a while to get going, but eventually got going. And, you know, it was a big moment for him because this was his debut, debut performance in a European top flight first division league. So, yes, he got taken off at halftime. But in all honesty, I think it was a creditable performance. Hopefully, the young player can continue to grow from strength to strength, you know, and become an integral member of this copper team he has been there a while and this is his first a couple of months and this is his first run out on the pitch for them and i think he he held his own um and you guys will see what i'm talking about when you watch the video as well in the and in the link in the comment section um i was a little bit surprised as i said that he came off at halftime thought he was holding his own and also the match day spot for the game that copper played yesterday for the UEFA Conference League game that they played yesterday. He did make the bench. So I don't know if everything is all right or what, but given his performance in the league game, you know, earlier in the week, I was a bit surprised to see him not even make the match day squad in yesterday's midweek European game. So we'll continue to track and monitor the pros, the, you know, the progress of this player, Krista J. Daly. Up next, we're talking about Kahim Paris quick and fast in the ladies and gentlemen. Another electric, electric display from one of the top players over there in Slovenia, reggae boy Kahim Paris, right? Drifting by players, constantly being a goal contribution threat in the wing channel and in the half spaces, right? Got quite a number, number of shots. Got Got in a number of good pos positions in this game. Got off a number of shots on goal. You know, his finishing and his shooting in this game was a bit wayward. And that's why he didn't come away from this game with a goal, right? Um, as I said, could have easily have gotten a couple of goals and assists in this one. You know, some of his teammates, the finishing wasn't the best from them either. So he didn't get an assist, right? And yeah, just an electric display from one Kaim Paris man. He was very, very good in this particular game. You know, could have gotten quite a number of goals in this game. 
if his shooting and if his finishing was better. Got them on target, but they were either weak attempts or, you know, straight to the goalkeeper. You know, so probably, you know, taking, taking him a while to get back up to, you know, top form, you know, but it was a very good display from Kaim Paris, very electric display. You know, Kaim Paris in Slovenia is drifting by players as if they are cones on a training pitch, man. In this particular game, he got the beating of quite a number of players so easily. It's just so easy for him, man. And you guys will know what I'm talking about when you click the link to watch the 60 minute performance of one Kaim Paris for FC Copper versus NK Bravo. By the way, Kappa would have unfortunately have lost the game 1-0. To be fair to them, they probably should have won this game. In my humble opinion, they were the better team. So ladies and gentlemen, that's my two cents. You know, knock up the like button. You know, subscribe to the channel. We are 50 plus subscribers away from 4,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys could hit our like button, and give us some subscribers to get us to 4,000, we would very much appreciate it. So guys, that's my two cents. Take care, stay safe, and until next time.